Number one reason why food plots fail. You know what it is? Drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. It's actually not doing a soil test. Skipping the first step in your in a proper planting procedure. Your first step should always be to do a soil test. You guys got to get this done. It's not that expensive, okay? And it doesn't take any time. It really doesn't. It would take it, it takes you more maybe a minute, you know, maybe a couple minutes. It's not that bad, all right? Average cost for a soil test is 10 to 30 bucks. So think of what you're paying for when you do a strip test or a do-it-yourself kit. Most of those are probably going to be around that price range. If you take that money and you get a real soil test done, you're going to know. A pH test is not going to tell you what you need to know, okay? It'll get you somewhere in the ballpark, but it's really not going to be able to truly recommend lime amounts for you. It's still really a guessing game, so get that done. Plus, you want to know how fertile that soil is, what fertilizer you need to add for your crop that you plan on planting. It's really vital that you guys do that. If you don't do soil tests, you're simply shooting your shooting in the dark, planting in blind. You know, it's just not going to end well for you. It's really, it's usually not. Okay. The best, the reason why I prefer to do a soil test, honestly is to know what I'm going to plant in that area. It's really helpful in helping you determine what you need to plant in that area and what should work for you. Okay, the nice thing about buying from us guys is that on our site and on our bags, we're gonna tell you the minimum recommended pH, okay? So for instance, Clover Madness and Magic Mix, your lowest pH or recommended lowest pH is gonna be a five and a half. Okay, that's has it been planted in lower pH soils and been successful? Absolutely. But what I would like to see is at least a five and a half. This picture, believe it or not, on the bag is actually a 5.3. Now, once we get past these two and you step up to say our fall harvest, which is more brassica and slightly less clover, that's going to require a slightly higher pH. So a minimum pH on that is a 5.8. And then finally you're going to get into Last Supper, which is going to be our highest pH needed, which will be right around a 6. Now there's nothing wrong with planting Last Supper in a lower pH. The problem I see typically is the lower the pH, the less available your nutrients are, which is why liming is important to raise that pH so your crops can utilize as much fertilizer as you put down. But typically those plots are going to be low in P and K, and if you're low in P and K, your brassicas are really going to suffer, guys. You're going to see them turn purple. You're going to see the yellowing. You're just going to have issues. So do yourself a favor. The best way to plant a plot, do your soil test first. It says right on the bag, step one, take a soil sample. That's your first step, okay? Get that done. Then you know what you're working with, okay? If you're not sure when you take your soil test what you're going to plant in that area, Simply say, simply give them an idea, you know, have somewhat of an idea. Um, maybe a clover, uh, you can tell them clovers, you could tell them brassicas. Brassicas are going to be slightly more demanding than necessarily a clover. So that's what you, that's what you probably want to shoot for. Or you could just say, like I like to do, it, soybean. Soybean is pretty demanding, it's a relatively demanding crop, and it works well for recommending fertilizer for pretty much anything. Now as always, check out our page foodplotsolutions.com you want some quality seed we sell you quality seed well, there's no fillers there's no BS seed to make it seem more impressive than what it is it's just great seed a good food plot starts with quality lime fertilizer application according to your soil test disking that lime and fertilizer in and buying a quality seed and planting it and you can get that from us Thank you very much for your time, guys, and have a wonderful hunt.